All right. Um, I think first and foremost, give uh, give credit to uh, to UNF. I thought they I thought they really took advantage of um, some opportunities uh, that were created throughout the game, especially uh, kind of early in the second half, um, which which kind of changed the changed the game. Could, could you talk a little bit about? Uh, I know you were frustrated with your three point defense particularly in the second half of the clipboard that was slammed after a, a second and second and three got made. What did you guys do differently in the last seven minutes to keep the three from hurting you? I thought our urgency changed. Coach, how hard is it to kind of get a team to bounce back when they're, when they're dealing with uh, an 18 point deficit at one point and keep them on top of, of being ready to go, which they showed great resiliency firing back? And like I said in the locker room, give those guys uh, that were out there that that, that made the comeback uh, a lot of credit. Appreciate appreciate their effort tonight. How about the, I mean, the atmosphere was everything you, you envisioned, right? Yeah, give uh, I think give our ticketing and marketing people a lot of credit. Uh, I thought a lot went into this game. Uh, pretty sure this was the first ever uh, sellout of, of Swisher where, where there were no tickets available uh, day of game. And that's a credit to. It's a credit to our guys for the, the work that they've done, uh, putting us in this position. But it's also a credit to our administrative staff for, for really working here uh, can this any, week. Sorry, can you take any real solace in the way that you guys fought and came back, or is just the disappointment of just being that close to getting a share of the A Sun title just kind of too much right now? No, not not the not not the second part. The the, the issue is just just frustrated with our lack of urgency uh, and our effort uh, at times, you know, throughout the game. Jared, can you talk about the comeback? Uh, you're down 17, you come all the way back and come back. You guys good with me? Uh, we just uh, yeah. started to play hard and amp up our defense, what we, needed, what, what we needed to do, and good things happen. JR, do you feel like this is something you guys can build off of, get a chance to host a game next week in the opening round of the Atlantic Sun tournament? I mean, you don't win the game, but you, that one was right there at the end for the taking. Uh, Yes, sir. We just got to keep playing hard. That's all we want to do, and wherever it takes us, whether that's a home game or not a home game. Okay, are any chance I get you to slide in that middle seat? Yes, sir. So we can pick you up. Gotcha. You got it. How can you just? I was it. You guys come out here, and obviously you got good home support. You played well here, uh, but I mean the place was nuts. You know, for a half hour before tip. But yeah. can you give us a sense of what that was like? Um, it's always good having support from our from our fans and you know the love. <laughs> Let us know that we're um, we're supported. Give you a little taste though, uh, you know, regardless of if you play at home again this year, but you know the program going forward, kind of taste of what's to come type of deal. Uh, yes, sir. We like uh, we like our fan support and we would like to see it continue, build on it, and see where it takes us. How do you think they got away from you in this game? In terms of I mean, you guys have kept it close, it looked like they might deliver, kind of that knockout blow, and then it kept staying tight, tight until a couple of threes went down. Uh, we didn't play at our best ability on defense on the defensive end, so we got a little loose and they got open shots and they made them. That was probably part of the, the comeback, the change in defense. But, yes, but what went right on the offensive end, and in order for you guys to kind of go on that run at the end? Just staying aggressive. That's the biggest thing. Staying aggressive on offense and defense. Uh, we just want to play hard, <laughs> whether that takes us all the way or we just want to give our maximum effort. Did you, did you just feel like you guys dug just way too deep, deep of a hole for yourselves against a team like this? Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. We just uh, just stand, stand locked down on defense. So any team could come back from anything, I believe. Could you talk about the job that Alice Moore did in the last three minutes of that, of that first half? Because that three-minute sequence is what really seemed to set the tone for most of the game until you guys made your run in the last five minutes. Uh, we got loose on defense. He's a really good player. But we got really loose on defense, and that led to a lot of you know, buckets. Anything else? All right, Derek. Thank you.